Hey there, I'm Robert Greene, best-selling American author, and today I've got something intriguing to share with you. In this podcast episode, I'll unlock the secrets to becoming an irresistible seducer. Join me as I dive into my recent enlightening conversation with Stephen Bartlett in The Diary of a CEO. Get ready to acquire the essential keys to elevate your seduction game, all in less than 10 minutes. Let's embark on this transformative journey together. Key idea number one. Power is a sense of control. Growing up, I felt powerless. I was at the mercy of my surroundings, unable to influence events or people. However, as I journeyed through life and into my early career, I began to recognize that power is not something you are simply given, but rather it is a feeling of control that you cultivate. A feeling of control over your life's events and over your interactions with people. It is through this understanding that I was able to write the 48 Laws of Power and share my observations with the world. Key idea number two, the interplay of power and appearances. As we navigate through our social existence, we realize that we are all actors playing different roles in different aspects of our lives. This isn't deception, rather a necessary part of functioning in society. It is a power game where appearances often supersede reality. A simple example is the law from my book about not trusting friends too much in the work world. This is not a suggestion of deceit, but a reminder that in the realm of business, one should think practically rather than emotionally. Key idea number three, the duality of intentions. In life and business, there is a delicate balance between concealing and revealing your intentions. When leading a team, sharing your vision can inspire and rally them, but sometimes, Holding your cards close to your chest can give you the edge in a fiercely competitive business world. The key is understanding your circumstances and adapting accordingly. Key idea number four, the dark side of human nature. We all harbor a dark side characterized by narcissism, aggression, envy, and more. Acknowledging this is not a sign of defeat, but an opportunity for transformation. Think of icons like Mahatma Gandhi and Martin Luther King Jr. They recognize their dark sides and utilize them strategically, turning potential vices into virtue. Remember, understanding yourself, especially your darker aspects, is the first step towards positive change. Key idea number five, the art of seduction. Seduction is more than just a romantic endeavor. It is a form of power, requiring attentiveness to the other person's needs and desires. Vulnerability can be seductive, but insecurities are not. Successful seduction requires effort, creativity, and time. After all, genuine connection can't be rushed. Key idea number six, developing confidence. In our modern society, many young men are struggling to seduce, believing that intimacy should be quick and effortless. This misconception is a roadblock. True seduction and confidence requires patience, effort, and self-development. Confidence should not be faked. It is born from experience and accomplishment. Therefore, one should seek out experiences, not just hear about them. Key idea number seven, the power of body language. Communication extends beyond words. Body language often reveals more about a person's state of mind than spoken language. Learning to read and interpret these nonverbal cues can enhance your understanding of others and aid in building meaningful connections. Key idea number eight, mastery through effort. Passion can only take you so far. True mastery, as discussed in my book Mastery, requires consistent effort and time investment. It's like learning to play the piano, boring at first, but the thrill that comes after a year of practice is unparalleled. And this effort-driven mastery can help you build self-esteem and a sense of accomplishment. Key idea. Number nine, finding your life task. Discovering your life's task or purpose is crucial, but the path to it often involves the critical phase of apprenticeship. During this phase, it is important to prioritize learning opportunities over immediate financial gain. This perspective helped me to persevere through my own challenging times, including the aftermath of a life-altering stroke. Key idea number 10, the human condition and hope. Life is a continuous struggle, oscillating between optimism and pessimism. After my stroke, I became more empathetic, but not necessarily more optimistic. However, I place my hope in the younger generations and their potential to change the world. Perhaps my happiest moment came when I was offered the opportunity to write The 48 Laws of Power, which saved me from a desperate situation and propelled me into a life of excitement and adventure. 
So confront your darkness, appreciate what you have, and never lose hope. In closing, remember that power, confidence, and mastery aren't just given, they're cultivated. Through understanding our dark sides, honing our skills, and maintaining hope, we can wield the power to control and enrich our lives. Thank you for listening to this podcast of my conversation with Stephen Bartlett. If you learned something new today, hit the like button and subscribe. See you next time.